<laughs> and we are, of course, live on the internet phone in. This is the big one. Welcome, welcome, welcome. A little bit later tonight because we had a slight technical challenge at nine o'clock, but hopefully we've managed to sort that out now and we can get down to hearing what you've got to say. How amazing is that? We'll just get all the TikTokers to join us as well. And we are in business. Excellent stuff. Dinky do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening, TikTokers. A very warm welcome to you as well. This is Scotty McClue, and we're live on YouTube. We're live on Twitch. We're live on LinkedIn. And we are live on Facebook. How amazing is that? Welcome, welcome, I say, to our phone in for tonight. This is, which one have we got tonight now? I'm just trying to think. We're well up into the 50s. That's just incredible. Fantastic stuff. Dinky do, I say. A very warm welcome to all of you. Absolutely. And uh, we'll open up the phones and you can come and give us your chat. That's what it's about. So if you want to come and phone us, you're very welcome. I'll just check that the phones are open. Yes, absolutely. All is well there. And uh, we'll see who this is. Hello, you're live in Scottish for me. Who's that? Thank you, do, Scotty. It's Kareem. Ah, Kareem, thank you. Do. I do apologize about earlier. Uh, way, control. way beyond my control. <laughs> well, well above my pay grade. Sorry, Scotty? Well above my pay grade. Oh, gosh, listen, listen, the technology. As great as it is, there's always little gremlins. Always wee gremlins, and it just suddenly decided to shut down at nine o'clock, you know? But yes, no, no. sometimes a wee reset or a wee reboot. A wee, a wee reset, and away we go again. There's Sparticle saying hello, and Tom is saying hello, pal, on the TikTok. So welcome to the TikTok, as we say. Hello, everybody, yes. <laughs> now then. I thought last night, Scotty, was fantastic. The amount of people phoning and sharing very interesting points. Outstanding show last night, Kareem. I mean, each one just gets better and better and better, but they're all good. This is the thing. Yes. yes. No, it was it was really it was outstanding. Um just to say um about I felt you, you held your ground very well last night, Scotty, about the 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 points to do with the independence. Ah with yes, that. yes, with Danny, that's yes, that's absolutely. Um, however, what I've done, I know you don't check your messenger, but there was a, a report commissioned that was by um, some professors, etc., down in England, and they were given the task to, and this is, this is recent, uh, about the long-term benefits of Scottish independence. So this wasn't conducted up in Scotland, this was down in England, um, and the, the research showed that Basically, short term Scotland would not benefit in the short term. Hello? We seem to have lost Karim for some reason. Thank you, dear. We'll get him back for you. Uh, do give us a call, of course, no problem at all. See who this is here. You live in Scotty's phone in? Hello, you live in Scotty's phone in? Scotty, I got cut off there. <laughs> ah, yes, we wondered what happened to you. Anyway, you're back yes. with us. So, uh, short term, long term. Yes, so I said short term, like anything in a transition, it's not going to be peachy and rosy. I don't think it's not going to be as bad as what it is just now, uh, but in the long term, the benefits are outstanding. But the, the, on the website, it did state that when, once the, this was uh, released through the Westminster um, uh, on the website or whatever it is, they did the research, it was quickly taken down. Uh -huh. so yes. I, I found that very, very interesting. Yes. Um, no, there's a very, very strong lobby. Westminster do not want Scotland to go because Scotland is a cash cow. Absolutely. You yes. know? Yeah. And, and it's the and last say, outpost yeah. of the empire. Scotland yeah. and Wales going away back, you know what I mean? I'll take my hat off to the chap that was trying to convince everybody last night. Oh, you know, yes. You know, that, that they're very passionate, but everything that came out his mouth, and I know he'll be listening to me just now, 
was very negative. Scotland can't do this. Scotland gets the Barnet formula. We won't be. You know, everything Well, I think like every can't. unionist has had, had their head stuffed with that since birth. Yes. You know? Yes. And it's hard to open your mind to accept, well, actually, no. Um, now, I found interesting when they say, when they wave the finger, you've got the Barnet formula, the Barnet formula. Well, that's our money that we might be getting slightly more back. But at the end well, of we're the day, only getting our own money back. Sorry? We're only getting our own money back. Correct. Now, with that 40 billion that Westminster or whatever it is that they hang on to, yes. could you imagine how much more money per head that could be given? Oh, huge. I mean, this is the whole thing. Scotland yeah. has been choked. I mean, it's really squeeze every ounce of profit out of Scotland and give yeah. as little back as possible. Now, the EU made a huge difference to Scotland over the 50 yeah. years of peace and prosperity. We were in it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I do believe, Scotty, that we will have our under F2. I think that's that's definitely going to happen mm -hmm. um, on the build up within the next year and a half. And I think I've said before, and this may come in May. It's the council elections, so I think that will be all the political parties will be gearing towards that. After that, I think by next May, on the build up to that, will be at one point the the referendum. Um, and but what they'll yeah. need to be very careful this time round, and all yeah. the Scots, regardless of what they think, will need to be very careful of this. There will be terrific nonsense taught. Now, politicians very rarely do anything. They really talk about it. You know, that's it's, it's mainly a case of talking about it. But all the promises that were made, the vow, all that stuff the last time was just a lot of bunkum. And I Absolutely. think that they need to be very wary of anybody promising you anything if you do this. You say, no, if that was the case, we would have it now. Do you see that? That's the difference. Oh, uh, if you stay with us, Scotland, we'll give you, we'll rebuild your shipyards. We'll give you this money and that. No, 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 no. We would have that now if you are of a mind to do that. So anything we don't already have, I'm afraid, not acceptable. Yes. Um, I, as I said, I think we will get it this time. I think Scotland will be a very strong voice within the EU and we'll have a very strong monarchy leading the way. And I do think that this country will grow. Um, there are problems that we have just now within um, in Scotland and we have a lot of mental health issues, we have drug issues, we have crime, which I think the justice system um, needs to be looking yeah, at. Yeah, but everyone's <laughs> got that, Karim. You, you, you can't point the finger and say, isn't it interesting? Scotland's got a drug problem. Scotland's got crime. Scotland's got mental health problems. You say, whoa, does that mean nowhere else has? Now, now yeah. that doesn't make anything right. It doesn't excuse anything. It only explains it in context. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, it just but explains it in context. What I also found interesting last night was, I just remembered the criticism of Scottish education, which now... We have some of the best universities, as you know, Scotty, in the world. For a very small country, we've got Glasgow University, Strathclyde University, Edinburgh, we've got big, the Big Dundee, we've got the St Andrews, we've got Aberdeen, some of the best. You've got the other Dundee as well, you've got Aberdeen and, and all that. And you've got some of the other newer universities. The University well, of the Highlands and Islands, you know. Yeah, you know, for a small country, that's quite a lot of universities. There's a lot of education is one of our biggest exports as well. Absolutely, yes. Karim, here's an interesting shopping. one. Now, this guy's really good. The first time shepherd on TikTok. And I've had yeah. some very good chat with him. Excuse yeah. my ignorance, but if you think Brexit was so bad, why do you think Scottish independence won't be? Now, what that uh, uh, gentleman's not realising is that Westminster takes, Europe gives, as far as Scotland's concerned. You know, and that's the point they make. The other thing is, uh, you'll get the argument, 
you said no to it in 2014, end of. You say no, uh -huh. at that stage we hadn't been dragged kicking and screaming against the will of the people out of Europe. Correct. And um, you are allowed to change your mind. Um, is it written within, is it Northern Ireland or some type of the constitution over there where they can vote every seven years mm -hmm. for a referendum if they so wish? But this so, time the referendum, there should be proper um, education on exactly uh, yeah. the situation. Yeah. There shouldn't just I, I, be one side screaming against the other. The problem is we have, Scotty, as you know, it's like you know, they're going to have the SNP, the Greens and Alba uh, against a lot of media outlets and the obviously Labour and the Tories. The, what I'm concerned about is the scaremongering. And we've, we've had so much of well, the thing is not to fall for scaremongering and also to look at who's saying it. You see, somebody once said to me, I was putting a very good, strong argument for keeping the monarchy, and always yeah. would do because it makes complete sense. And uh, I was putting that argument to somebody, and they said, Oh, where's your source? And I put up a national newspaper. They went, ha, 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 that's your source. They couldn't be more right-wing. I said, no, that's the publisher. That's the publisher. That's not the source. You see, and that's what you've got to look at. What is the actual source? Where, where are they getting it from? Yeah. But you know, if everything, everything can get manipulated very easily to towards a, an argument if they really want that, and I find that quite a lot. With a lot of yeah, but I've never, things. ever, ever yet heard anybody from Westminster or the Unionist side put forward a genuine de facto argument for the Union because there actually isn't one. No, there isn't, or the ones that they think. Some of the points raised last night that your education is not good, stay with us. You get the barn formula, stay with us. You're in the UK, you know. That seems to be the main thing that I hear about a lot of these unionists. I mean, what you've just said there, Scotty, highlights that, well, you've not got an argument. If we could, if we come out of the UK and into Europe, we have so much opportunity. But I'm not going to keep going on about that. No, 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 but it's, it's very good to raise it. Here's somebody, a little bit of feedback here. Strong voice within the EU. What planet does he live on, says Callum. Sparkle says, who do you believe should be the monarch of Scotland? Will it be a Stuart? No sparacles. It will be Her Majesty the Queen or her heirs and successors in perpetuity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The monarchy is going nowhere. Um, there's a lot of people that are against Europe, um, but Scotland overwhelmingly voted to stay part of Europe. Uh, and that's up to, well, basically England if they want to leave, and they have voted that, but we will, I do believe we will get our chance to get back into Europe. Yeah, but uh, I think England are really deeply, deeply regretting this Brexit thing now. Yes. You know, because they know they've been worked from the back. There's nothing in it for them. I mean, have a look at where we are. Today, we had an argument and somebody said, oh, I think... That would be down to the pandemic, not Brexit. I said, well, Brexit, 250 billion, pandemic, 100 billion. You do the maths. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Scotty, what I've done, I know in your, um, your messenger, I know you don't check it, it's not linked, but I did send you that report, that link. I don't do uh, the messenger because it was hacked, Karim, at one point. Uh, right. You okay. know, so so I can't really, I can't really go that way. Go into that. Well, not a problem, Scotty, but I did send it to you there, um, and that would have given facts, but that's not a problem. I might add it to one of your Facebook posts, um, so you can have a Yeah, look get it, one. get it going there. That would be fantastic. Kareem, a joy talking to you as always. Thank you, do, Scotty. Uh, have a good day tomorrow. Thank you, do, Bye sir. Now. And you, Tarano. Right, to the telephones, folks, as quickly as possible. Lots and lots to discuss tonight, and as always... So little time to do it in. What are you all saying in the chat? There we are. Hello, Scotty McClure. Hello, pal. Dinky do. Hi, everybody. Blooming hell. I thought I was banned. Sasan. Sasan, you're never banned on here. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello, Scotty. Hello, who's that? 
Thomas from Glasgow. Thomas, lovely to hear from you. And Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo, too. Dinky Doo to all our beautiful TikTokers as well. Lovely to have you with us. Yep, it is indeed, mate. I th see these fireworks, Scotty. I think you should just ban them. An outright ban on fireworks being sold at all. Yep. Bring That's an end bad. to Guy Fox Night. Yeah, it's all that. It's all the, the poor animals and then the poor old pensions that's going to cop off. I agree, Thomas. I, you're talking absolute sense. You're pushing at an open door, my boy. Yeah. They should put a, a petition through and saying ban the, the, the fireworks altogether. Fantastic. We shall do that. Thomas, I'm going to put that out not just to one nation, but to all nations. Thank you very, very much. Lovely talking to you. Thank you, chum. Dinky doo. There we are. Our Thomas from Glasgow. Ban the fireworks outright. You're live in Scottish phone in, who's that? It's Jerry. Jerry, about time we heard from you, my boy. Boy, exactly. How are you tonight? Well, we're absolutely excellent. We had, as you probably saw, a wee technical blip at the start. Uh, you know, oh, when we lost about we lost about five minutes, but we came back on. Oh well. Did you get the pilot light? Is that what it was? The pilot. I forgot to light the pilot light. We forgot to get steam up, Jerry. Oh, that's exactly. It. And, and we've got you? our lovely, lovely TikTokers here. Fantastic good. stuff. Good, good. Uh, and how are yourself? Yes, very well, Jerry, uh, and much better for hearing from you. Good, good. Um, so uh, I've been looking back forward to the last couple of weeks. They're doing well, the old uh, listeners, aren't they? The old internet phone in, it's, it's coming along absolutely beautifully. I mean, there's terrific competition in the media for people's attention. But I'm quite happy right. to throw my bonnet in the ring, you know. All right, too true. true. And there'll be football, know. there'll be dramas, there'll be movies, there will be everything. But I shall still continue to throw my hat in the ring. Good, good. It's good to hear from you. Brilliant. If you've just uh, joined us, folks, you're walk watching Scotty McClure. Here's a guy going down the swanee here on the TikTok called Kieran. Good, another one. Yeah, doing the swanee with Kieran. I have wit. There he goes. Oh, well. Right. Now then. Um, what's uh, on the agenda? Well, we've just heard, I don't know if you heard Kareem there, and the gentleman from Glasgow, Tom, is talking about banning fireworks. Licky boy, thank you for my TikToks. Thank you, Mr. Goatface. Uh, fireworks, it's a, it's, a, it's a hard one to, to ban on that. Very hard. Well, is it, you see, is it time now to call time on Guy Fox night? Yeah. Maybe have uh, one big uh, public file as is having Glasgow Green. I watch it on the telly. Yeah, that's right. Even at Glasgow Green a number of years ago, it was uh, Jim Simon. He was doing it on TV, big screen. Fantastic, yeah. Television. Jim's a great guy. I used to work with Jim. Marvellous man. Aye, aye. Nice fella. Um, at uh, Scottish. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Good. Uh, I thought... Um, get through that I was there's we Mrs. Women. Women we Mrs. Women says she's got to go take it easy we Mrs. Women think you do she's had to dash oh. off oh, she, she puffed out we, she, she's gone abs <laughs> <laughs> she's probably done too much <laughs> now then <laughs> what are you like so you had a job getting through the night Jerry busy busy oh, busy busy so that means the, the less I chat another one will get jumping in just say hi to the followers. Absolutely, and thank you do to you, La. Lovely to hear Thank from you. you. Thanks, Thanks, Jerry. Bye. 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 To the telephones as quickly as possible, folks. You're live on Scotty's for an in. Who's that? Hello? They don't know. Uh, nobody. <laughs> Here they go. You're live on Scotty's for an in. Who is that? Hello? 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 Hello, who's that? Hello, it's Ryan, the first-time shepherd from TikTok. First-time shepherd, lovely to hear from you, yes. I got your message there, and I was explaining that you're a top man. Bless you, thank you very much, very kind. But you were struggling to understand something. What was it again? Um, I was just um, 
it was just me being me. I'm uh, not very political myself. I, I know what you mean. I'm not political you, myself. Um, I am absolutely apolitical, as you know. First time shepherd. I've got here somebody going. You never gave me a mention. Ya rocket says Liam. So we've given Liam a mention now. <laughs> That's brilliant. But no, the main reason I came on tonight was just to uh, say my views on the firework one. Really. Yes. Um, and obviously, I've got um, I've got eight dogs myself. Um, we farm sheep and whatever yeah. else. And I think the private, uh, the public sale of it is it should be banned. Um, but for displays, private displays. Um, run by county councils or district councils, yeah. I think they should be allowed because pets can quite easily be trained to look to be desensitized to the sounds of the fireworks. Well, I can remember uh, one of my Labradors, he didn't like the fireworks. He used to say, let's just go home uh, when it was a very, very loud bang in the park or something. But he was amazing. Uh, he'd been brought up. He was a working uh, Labrador, a field trials Labrador for retrieving, but he'd also been brought up with, you know, on on a on a working place with compressors running and things like that. Very little phased him. But, it is, it's exactly how they brought up. Yeah, yeah, very little phased uh, him. And as you know, if you've brought up farm dogs, they are not really too bothered about sudden noises and stuff. It's just getting the balance between barking and not right. I mean, my dogs never, ever barked. Exactly. And a lot of the problem is when the firework goes off, people go over to their dog and start stroking them and go, oh, my God, are you okay? Are you okay? And that's exactly where the problem starts because the dog goes, oh, I like this. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely and spot bang, on. And associate the bang with attention. Good for you. First time, Shepard. I thoroughly admire what you do. I love what you do. And uh, you're quite right not to be too politically orientated, but we've got all the answers on here. We just aren't an actual political program. I'm a political myself. That's brilliant. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for having me on. Scott. Lovely having talking to you. Dinky doola. Yeah, we'll speak again. Too. Bless you. Bye. Top man, come by now. There we go. Uh, Scotty, I've been tuning in for a couple of weeks, says Razaboom, and I can't believe how much this has grown. I love that. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello? Hello, who's Hello, that? Scotty. It's Alex Robertson here. Hello, Alex. Alex, how lovely to hear from you. Alex, our top actor. That's so kind of you. Guys, we've got one of Scotland's top, top actors on here, Alex Robertson. Lovely to have you on, Alex. Not at all. I, I've always never known how to contact. Ah. Someone dropped your face. Well, the subtitles were covering. Yes. And what it was saying, so I sat and wrote the number down, and I thought, I'll phone. And see if I get through, and I've phoned about five times, but I thought, well, you know. I must persevere. You must um, persevere, I, Alex. You, I mean, nobody knows how to persevere better than an actor. <laughs> because you have to. How you been keeping well? I've been keeping well. And uh, what about your good self? I mean, what a struggle with all that, Alex. Oh, it's been awful. Any work I had was cancelled. Yes. So, um, so I was basically online, which uh, I'm not the best at taking. You know, technology. Technically, well, no, that. neither am I. I mean, we had a wee blip tonight <laughs> at nine o'clock. You know, we had a wee um, blip at nine o'clock tonight, so don't worry about that, Alex. No, what, no, what happened recently, about the last year, uh, just before lockdown, I had filmed a very short um, film and I was playing a drag queen. Oh, right. Um, and it was only a seven minute long, but it's a, it's a series called The Demonologist for Hire. Uh -huh. and it's on uh, YouTube, and my episode, I don't, I'm scared to the last one because it's too sweary, but it's um, <laughs> Drag Me to Hell, B I T C H. Oh, right. Um, and, and I. Very I'm Shakespearean. <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> very much so. Shakespeare was a crowd. So, what happened was, uh, we just filmed that, and then lockdown started. 
Um, and I just came out of the hospital, so I was so glad to have done something. And then went on to win the best guest star award. Yes. The British Web Award. Wonderful. Um, but um, after that, then I had a few things lined up, and then Pantomime was cancelled, and uh, so everything was cancelled. And I also then had to, uh, I, a lot of friends, you know, because they were all cancelled, you know, Panto was cancelled, um, uh, from England and all over, we all were on uh, uh, a thing called Friday Night Rambles, which is on uh, YouTube too. Right. And, uh, people like Eric Potts, who's a, a very fantastic actor from Scotland also, very well established. Wonderful. And um, people like the governess from um, The Chase, etc. Um, they were all on it because it was a pantomime, you know, edition. Brilliant. Where we just were all interviews. And yes. I thought, well, why not do these things? Even though you're not getting anything for it, well, just do it. Well, do uh, that and get get your name out there, Alex. Yes, you've got to do yeah. that. Well, it must have worked because I could find all of this year. So. <laughs> yes, well, there you are. It's obviously I, done it. Done its stuff. Yeah. So and then they asked me back for the birthday um, celebration. Um, so this year, uh, yeah, I hope. Now this uh, year you're at Falkirk. Yes, playing uh, the game Moira McClunky. Yes. Lovely. Uh, and and when does and that start, yeah. Alex? That start, um, the show starts on the 10th of December. It's only a short run, but 10th of November right through to the 19th. Uh-huh. I'm sure. Maybe I'm, I'm not sure. As I, I know it's the 10th of November, I'm sure. Uh, Wonderful. Of Good. So people can get yeah, themselves out to that. But I'm looking forward to doing that. I was also asked to, because, you know, I appeared in Still Game as a housing officer, Jackie. Yes. Um, I was asked back to that before they finished filming a few years ago there. And it was lovely just being back okay. in that environment, you know. Yes, and yes. And you know yourself, it's good to get back into a, a booth and doing your own thing and going back to doing my, you know, uh, TV sort of stuff. I love Yes, yes, it does. It, it gives you it gives time. you a lift, and things are opening up again. You know, there's a lot more of that happening. I know, but I've been seeing the news earlier. They're saying, but I think it's more England. They're talking about, um, or oh, they're thinking of bringing Plan B in, where they'll they'll shut down places again. But coming up to Christmas, businesses will obviously start to. Um, they're just starting to get better again, and yes. all of a sudden it's going to go. You know, and I just feel so sorry. I mean, I don't feel sorry for myself. I, I, I'm, I'm happy that I didn't do panto last year because I, I think it was better to be safe than sorry. Yes. You know, um, and this year I think in Falkirk we're only having the adults, you know, more yes. and the adult dancers, as opposed to mixing too many people yes. together. And I think we'll be checked every day as well. So it will be, it's a challenge. I've not been to Falkirk Theatre ever. That's the first time I'll be performing there. Oh, fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. Well, Alex, as, as you know so. yourself, Scotland has a <laughs> tremendous pedigree in uh, in entertainment. Yes, and the one who also had Barbara Bracelet, who was, uh, she was on The Voice, an excellent. Wonderful, and, yes. And, and she's from Falkirk, so she'll be there too. So Wonderful. I'm well, listen, forward. Alex, we wish you all the very best and keep in well, touch. I get you a ticket, I definitely will, and you need to come along. Fantastic. I tried to get you one for Motherwell, but you couldn't come to it. I couldn't to come to it. No, the problem is I get so maxed, Alex, you know, and uh, you've There's just... Well, it's it's I it's like being a, it's like being on a wee treadmill when you're Scotty McClure. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> You're on a wee treadmill. You think, what's going to win away off to now? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely talking uh, to you, Alex. And take great care yeah, of yourself. Yeah, and take care. Keep in contact. Bless you. <laughs> yes, let us know how it all goes. Dinky do. No problem. Good Top night. man. Dinky do to you as well. Dinky do to you, sir. What a fine <laughs> fellow. Bye-bye. Bye, Alex. Thank you.
Thank you. There's Alex Robertson, one of our top actors, on for a wee chit chat. Off we go to the telephones again. You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, Scott. Ah, glad. How lovely to have you with us. Thank you, to all our beautiful TikTokers. I was just a quick call about fireworks, actually. Yeah, go on, Glenn. It represents a good thing as a get, you know, a get together, a social gathering. Yes. But sometimes it can get a little bit out of control if animals are... Well, know, this uh, is the worry. And you see anything countryside-wise, you've got horses, dogs, yeah. cats, sheep, cattle, cows, if pigs, can, the lot. If you can keep it to a entertainment branch with like councils and local franchises. Yeah, but people get carried away. And also, you know, the adolescent element gets okay. very confused they get up to nonsense with fireworks they use it, they use it as some sort of anti-social behavior yeah. sometimes yeah so, uh, exactly that's what it becomes anti-social behavior and that's where there's the difference between doing the right thing and doing the wrong thing where i meant that yeah it, absolutely it, it does tend to it does tend to spoil it for everybody else, doesn't it? Well, this is the problem you're up against, you know, the minority spoiling life for the majority. When you could have a few fireworks with a family and toffee apples, jacket potatoes. Well, the work. toffee apples tend to be Halloween. Yeah. That's interesting, I mean, you talking about the toffee apples for Guy Fox. Yeah, Am I not right yeah. there more Halloween? It can be, yeah. Uh, they do use them from both, don't they? Yeah, not terribly good for children's teeth, but they taste amazing. I'll buy a toffee as well, Scott. They taste amazing. The, the toffee as well, Scott, is a gorgeous oh. treacle toffee. Oh, yes. And what about, uh, did you ever go for the hanging scones covered in treacle? Oh, beautiful, Scott. <laughs> did you ever duke for apples? I did, yeah. Wonderful. Did you ever go out guising, as we called it up here? Guy Falking, Scott. Uh. Well, you're Guy Falking, but guising was Halloween. Oh, yeah. You dressed uh, up. Trick or treating, yeah. Well, it's called trick or treat. That's an American yeah. thing. We had it as Halloween because Halloween is just all Hallows evening, all souls evening, uh -huh. and then the next day is all saints day. The concept of it now, it, it comes across as this, this, some misers class it as begging, don't they? Well, this is it, you know, and I don't think trick or treating is terribly, terribly Christian. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know, that's. So, but when, when you get all the tradition and everything what comes together, it's, it's good for kids, isn't it? Oh, definitely, yeah. The wee ones love it, and uh, yeah. very good. Did you, did you ever go round houses and you had to say a poem or sing a song? I didn't scott to know. <laughs> that was the and one. Did you? Yeah, yeah, I had to sing a song. Yeah. Wonderful no, stuff. No, it's not penny for guys, it's twenty pounds for the guys. Uh, all that thing, stuff, you know, we used to we used to give a penny for the guy. These kids don't want to win free ten pence or twenty pence and now they want like no, 20 they don't. Quid, don't they? Yeah, they want all that. You know, some of the guys aren't very impressive. All that, yeah. Well, they'll not be getting that. I'll tell you. No chance. Good one for you, Glenn. Lovely yeah. to hear you. Is the football on tonight? Uh, there's some European football on, Scotty, and some English football. Yeah. Right, right. I thought so because the numbers are always down a little bit when there's football on. Uh, just have it on in background. You can keep on checking scores on your devices. Of course right? you can, but we will always persevere. It's like when they used to say after news had gone off, if you don't want to know the score. Look away now. now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah then absolutely. On, then watch it on match it there back in there, Scott. It's not so good on the radio, that. We used to say that on the radio. If you don't want to hear the score, look away now. There's been some great broadcasters, though, over the years, pro sports, Scott. Oh, superb. Always. Yeah, well, I mean, Jimmy Greaves and Ian St. John. Fantastic, yeah. Sainted Greavesy. I used to introduce them on ITV. Oh, they, were they were brilliant, them two, Scotty, back in. But it's empty the 80s. I remember the late 80s, vaguely. Yeah. Yeah, they were, they were ITV, very big. Yeah. When ITV was really doing it stuff with all the regions and they yeah, got together with results and things. 
they had a great common, they had a great togetherness, didn't they? Yeah. Well, let's go over and speak to so and so in Birmingham, so and so's in Manchester, yeah. so and so's in Glasgow. A lot of these new commentators could learn a thing from them, I reckon. Oh, they certainly could. They certainly could, lad. No doubt about it. Did, Glenn? did you ever? Did you ever think about going into sports journalism then, Scott? Well, you see, I don't know enough about football, but I'll just tell you very, very quickly a lovely story. I was telling a joke one night. We'd gone for a quick pint on a Friday yeah. night just because the weekend was coming up. And I was telling yeah. this joke, right? And I said, so, commentators giving it out to Smith. Oh, it's a cross. You see, all that sort of stuff, right? So, anyway, yeah. um, we're given all that nonsense. And... One of the chief commentators says to me, Scotty, come here a minute. Do you want to join us tomorrow? Mm -hmm. He said, because, uh, you know, you can come in the commentary box and do a bit. I said, yeah. I know nothing about football. And give him his due. I loved this line. He goes, well, you'll fit in well with the rest of us then. Exactly. Everybody's got their opinions, Scotty. I mean, if, if, you, if you would have put it back into context, uh, would you say listening to a commentary on the radio better than watching it on TV, I think then. it is if you have a first class commentator I had an old friend his eyesight wasn't great and he used to arrive yeah. at the house and I would say now cup of tea uh, and one of my scones and then uh, I'd say is there anything else I can get you go, you don't have a radio do you Scott I said yeah. a radio I said the house is falling down with them so anyway we got him that well he sat there just beside himself because he could hear game yeah, brilliant. I mean, we've got a local MP in, uh, from Sheffield who's a, a big football fan, David Blunkett. Yeah, David, absolutely fantastic and guy. He goes to the Wednesday games and he listens to the commentary, you know, through his... Yeah, absolutely. No, no, I mean, I think you look at the quality of the commentary on Hallam FM, it was outstanding. Yeah. Absolutely it's outstanding. Good. Scotty, it's not as good as it used to be. Yeah, well, yeah. lots lots of things aren't as good as Time, they used to be, Glenn. Time's progressed, time's progressed, but Scott is still the same, though. Yeah. Oh, no change in McClure, I can tell you. Glenn, a joy Scotty. talking to you. And listen, Scotty, you, a big thing you do. To, you never need to up your game. Keep your standard as good as it is, because it's just it's second to none, Sky. Bless you, Glenn. You are such nice a one. top man. Nice one, Lala. Nice Take great care Scotty. of yourself. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, uh, Lala. Fine man, that's our Glenn, of course. Fantastic. There we go. Now, what is happening here on the chat? Hi, everybody. Good evening, sir, from sunny Tenerife. Hope all's well and safe. Loving the shows. You're making our evenings. David, thank you so much. Think you do. Great program. Try to listen sometimes. I like the Scottish accent. Greetings from Mexico. Guys, Seminario Maya is in Mexico. There we are. Fantastic. Uh, Aaron, thank you. Do. Lovely to hear from you. D, lovely to hear from you. Uh, Kareem Indiref, too. There we are. Fantastic. Danny, stop talking nonsense. There we are. Scotty, the EU will take money. Do you think Europe cares so much about Scotland? Look what they did to Greece. Danny, they didn't do that to Greece. Greece did that. Yeah. Absolutely. If it hadn't been for the EU, Greece would have been doing the Swanee a long time ago. Love the toffee apples, says D. Lol, that's scary. Didn't you do? I said you. It was called Mischief Night when I was a little one, says Susan, down in Lancashire. Mischief Night. That was Halloween, or was that bonfire? There we are. To the telephones, Geodog. Hello, Geodog. Lovely to have you with us on the TikTok. Geodog, you're right in the middle of the Scotty McClue internet phone. Is that not amazing? If you tap the YouTube channel, TikTokers, and subscribe and tap the bell, you can join us on the phone. That's what it's about. Toffee Apple's best gear, says Abdullah. Andrew says, Dinky Do. Dinky Do to you, Andrew. Lovely to have you with us. If you've just joined us, folks, a very, very warm welcome to the internet phone in. I'm Scotty McClue, hashtag float high, the first lord of the internet. Scotty, if you get your squeeze box, Ben, I would need to go and get it. Who's this? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? 
Yeah, it's what? It's back to back calls. I'm, I'm making last calls, guys. All right, go on, Glenn. Yes, absolutely. You've got two calls tonight. Nice one. Can you be you late on tonight, then? Uh, five minutes. Yeah. With a wee technical a problem at nine o'clock, it just shut down. We were getting a bit cheap to do it, we? we were getting a bit concerned about you, Scott. Uh, yeah, no, it on. just, uh, I clicked on at nine o'clock and it just. It just disappeared again. It says you have. Yeah, then I tried to go back on. It said you're already streaming. You don't get one or two teething problems. Either. Well, you're always going to get that. Anything's got that. Do you know what I mean? If I was a massive organization, I would have popped yeah. my announcer up to say, and I'm sorry, we seem to be having a problem tonight. We'll come back to Scotty McClure's phone in as soon when, as possible. When one or two broadcasts go off on this. Uh, Sorry for the uh, broadcasters dropped off. We'll be back to, uh, with you so You know that when programs drop off. That's it. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit of music, a couple of film yeah. trailers. As long as it's not a good film for some of us guys, it's like halfway through film goes off. Well, you I see, what, when I worked in television, you got very sensitive machines. You see, old films were very valuable. So mm -hmm. when you had a machine playing them, a tele cine machine, uh, they, yeah. they, there were safeguards so that the film didn't get damaged. So if yeah. you had a little bit of dust or dot, the film could stop. And one night there must have been dust in the machine or something. And yeah. um, it was just the, the program controller was saying to me, apologize. Okay. And then a bit more chat, apologize. And I was Going probably up on. saying, I'm dreadfully sorry. <laughs> yeah, going back on that, it's progressed though from Betamax, VHS, DVDs, Blu rays. Absolutely. Film. We've, yeah, download everything just to watch films digitally. Yeah, and film reporting. I mean, the news used to all be on film. Choose how many times that you bring something back there. Yeah. You can't beat the original, can you? Here's Angela absolutely talking about the Queen, calling her HRH the Queen. It's Her Majesty the Queen, Angela. She's Her more Majesty. than an HRH. Yeah. HM, HM the Queen. It's not selling her enough, is it, really? Yeah, absolutely. You've it's got to tell them. Yeah. You've got, got to tell them, Glenn. Well, you definitely got to respect the royal family. I, uh, Absolutely, la. Joy talking yeah. to you again. I'm going to press on. Nice one, Scott. What uh, do you do after you've uh, after you've gone off, then, Scott? Do you chill and watch some TV? Or? Well, no. After I've gone off, I make sure I get everything uploaded. Have a cup of tea, and then see what what stuff's going around. Uh, then see what's to do. Get on the old websites what? and catch up with everything. Smarten up know? my mind. Scotty, if there's an old film or anything you want to watch on TV, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Did What's he your best do? Film of all time, Scott, uh, My what? best film of all time. Yeah. I think it's probably got to be. Uh, I love the original Thirty Nine Steps with Robert Donat. Oh yeah. You know, but that's going back a bit. The old black and whites, but it still comes on. Rose. You've got Rosemary, and you? you've got. With Nelson, Eddie, and Jeanette McDonald. Yeah, sound of music. Uh, whatever happened to Baby Jane's got her. Uh, yeah, Davis. Absolutely. A brilliant actress, Bette Davis, though, Scotty. Betty Davis, though, Scotty. Betty Davis, yes, and Joan Trufford. Remember her? I, I know it went a bit before my time, but I still appreciate classics. Yeah, you so, know, hey, Glenn, we all should laugh. You've got it, haven't you? You've got it. Right, I'm going to have to dash. Did you do? Scott, I think you're up and coming actors have got a lot to live up to, haven't they? They certainly have, especially the film actors. To the telephones, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Right, there we go. Halloween, says Susan. There we are. Don't ignore us, says Abdul. So what's the socials, your wee minx? Hello, Scotty, says the wonderful Gordon Robertson. Dinky do Gordon. Excellent stuff. Love Her Majesty. Good morrow. Did you know that Jedburgh and Bruce's Cave in Ancrum? Yes, I know Ancrum very well. Yes, I remember the uh, politician that was actually an Ancrum. 
Incredible stuff. Wonderful. Right. Uh, to the telephone as soon as possible. What a fabulous night tonight. We're 45 minutes into the show. We've only got 15 minutes left. If you've been ringing and ringing and ringing and redialing and redialing and redialing, get ringing and ringing and ringing and redialing and redialing and redialing and we'll get you all on. Boris Karloff. The actor, Big Boris, he was incredible. Do you remember him in the original version of The Mummy? Ooh, scary, scary stuff. Anybody ever go home with a few pints in them on a Friday night and watch a horror movie and get the life frightened out of them? There we go. Uh, what do we got here? A wee bit personal. Too much, too much. Jerry, what's going on here? Who's getting asked all these things? What have we got? I'm just keeping an eye on you lot. Uh, Jerry, duking for apples in a boiling chip pan wasn't easy. Don't try. Jerry, that's not funny. So there you are. Now, come on. There we are. He's just talking nonsense, guys. Don't try that at home. Oops, says Abdul. Exactly, Susan. Yes, we don't do that on here, my friend. So there we go. And Jerry, we don't talk about duking for apples in chip pens. Not funny. There we are. What's your favorite subject to talk about? Everything, Finlay. We talk about the lot on here. Absolutely incredible. So there we go. If anybody wants to come on the phone, we've got a few minutes left. Lovely to talk to you. We're talking tonight about banning fireworks for good. Finished. That's it. Ban. Ban, I say. So tell us what you think about that. End of day. For the fireworks, or does everybody agree with Scotty McClure and the nation? We need to ban them. Fantastic stuff. Now, a little bit of housekeeping. Remember, I've been on TikTok today, and there's lots happening on TikTok. There's many, many, many TikTok videos. If you're watching on YouTube right now, have you subscribed and tapped the bell? Some of you are a little bit slow. On TikTok, you're a little bit slow at following and sharing the videos. Always follow, always share. Let's be part of making it bigger and bigger and brighter and better and more people for chatting. That's what we love. Why do we have to ban fireworks? Because they're frightening our dogs and our cats and our hamsters. And back, Scotty says, WXX, WXX. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. Off to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Martin, Scotty. How are you? Martin, we wondered where you were tonight, Saul. I know. I've been busy. I was there. I am getting through because you were busy. We were chatting and chatting and chatting, but you're through now. What's happening? Um, the thing you were talking about fireworks, I think that's a good point. I should ban them. Yes, I think so, Martin, and I think we should make a stance now. Yes, we should. You know, because also, I don't think Guy Fox Night, it's fair to celebrate the burning of a Catholic. Mm -hmm. And do you know, I don't know how many people know about the gunpowder plot. Do you know that even if uh, nobody had discovered it, it wouldn't have worked? Because, uh -huh. because the gunpowder was very seriously degraded by the time they got to it. Uh -huh. So there you go. So actually wouldn't have gone off. Uh -huh. So maybe poor old Guy Fox got tried for all the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. How's your um, day been? My day's been outstanding today, Martin. I've met so many interesting people. Because I saw you having a quick pop-up this morning, about 6.45 this morning. Uh, 6.45, 6.25, I can't remember. Something like that, Martin. Yes. Yeah, because because six, so six, you had the blip at the very start, so you, you were on for about five minutes. Yes, that's right. Yeah, because I was um, actually looking for you, and I, then um, I see that Kadeem has been on twice tonight. He's been I on tonight? Yeah. He's been on tonight. Uh, did you hear him tonight? Yes, I have. I he's only been on. He's only been on once. Has he? Aye. Did you manage to catch the start? Um, Kareem came on at the start. Then Kareem came on towards the end. 
Oh, I'm just wondering what you picked up on. I'm just wondering if we were going out live when I thought we weren't. I know, but um, Kareem came on first. Then, then, then I tried to follow a couple of times and I couldn't get through. Then I decided to leave it towards the end. Oh, I see what you mean. You, you, you don't mean that you were watching at nine and there was five minutes and then nothing. There was um, nothing at five. I was in keep coming on and keep checking and nothing was on. For nothing five. was on. That's right. Yeah, we had a problem at the start, Martin. But we're on now anyway, so that's it. So you look. Like you look very, very smart tonight. Were you ready, to, uh, were, were you ready jumping on? And, uh, tidied myself up for you, you know what I mean? Thank you, lovely. <laughs> A mark of respect for my viewers. Lovely. So, has the world got out the people to... To to you in that, yes, the word's getting out, but we need more people on the YouTube channel ASAP. It would be nice. There's 2,900 on the YouTube channel. It would be nice to have 3,000. That's another 100 subscribers by the end of tonight. Yes. So 100 people have got 10 minutes to go to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. They'll find it on the net. And they'll see it on TikTok as well, just below my bio. And they've got 10 minutes to subscribe. So let's see how many people can subscribe to the YouTube channel in the next 10 minutes. Good, lovely. There you go. Lovely talking to you, Martin. And dinky do la. Okay. Love you, bye. Love you lots. ta -la -la. There we are. A very fine fellow. That's our Martin. To the telephones, guys. Time is tight. We've got eight minutes last night. We actually overran by a few seconds because I was that busy blathering to somebody. That's what it's about, though. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's um, Matt Hodgman. Matt, how lovely to have you with us. Uh, it's just a uh, wee follow up on the firework situation. Yes. Uh, I, I don't really think it's a positive way to ban fireworks. Right, so so you think we should keep fireworks? Aye, because the same with drugs hats, ban them, people are still going to get a hold of them. So you think there would be a black market in fireworks? Aye, obviously. Oh, or a young team would all be starting to sell them. Ah, very fair point. Thank you very Aye. much for that, Mac. Yes, I will put that out to the nation. There we are, the young team. There we are. So do the young team not operate legit? That's what we need to know. Uh, Dinky Doo, if you've just joined us, a warm welcome to Scotty McClure's phone in. We are live across the internet. Dinky Doo, we're live on YouTube. We're live on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. If you've got a Twitch account, go and have a wee look on the Twitch and follow me there as well. That would be tremendous. Scotty underscore McClure on Twitch. We need 100 people to go on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel right now. Subscribe and tap the bell. You'll see the red subscribe button. Just click it. There we are. Maybe we could ban firecrackers, but not the fireworks. I see what you mean. Just watch the video of the depressed guy who called in. Or oh, DJ, what is he like? I ask you. Absolutely. If you've just joined us on TikTok, a very warm welcome to our beautiful TikTokers. We love you. There we go. Now, what have we got here? Uh, Gary, what's kicking my man, says Abdul. Gary says, Scotty, how are you? Sort yourself out, Matt says, dinky do, lovely. Just talk to Matt there. Get in about, Scotty, boy. There we are. Uh, Kareem was on, but he got cut off. He had to call back in. Uh, there we go. Suzanne says, night, night. Susan says, good night, Suzanne, D and Jerry. What about Scotty, Susan? Are you not saying good night to Scotty? Yes, since you're on his show. Thanks, Susan. Cheers for another night. Thanks, Jerry. Dinky, do to you, I say. There were five minutes, guys. Do you have a radio station? I did have a radio station, but we had stewardship problems. I've had many radio stations, but uh, I'm not on radio at the moment. I came off last year to facilitate love songs at the weekend. There we are. Scotty, what's your view on COP26? Well, I do hope it doesn't hold up the traffic. 
but it hopefully will be good for Glasgow. And uh, where did Dinky Doo come from? I came up with it because I feel um, it means as all well with you and the world. It's just a gorgeous phrase, Dinky Doo. A uh, very popular. Sorry, Scotty. Good night. Thanks, Susan. I hope you don't mind me asking. It's just that you are on the Scotty McClue show and you're saying good night to all of us except me. Night, Susan says the wonderful D Gurley. The sheer disrespect, Susan. Pathetic. Honestly, says Abdul. <laughs> Thanks, Susan. Appreciate it. Have a lovely night, my dear. And sleep well, I say. Imagine leaving five minutes before the end. Maybe she's wanting to avoid the traffic. Uh, you remind me of Michael Bentin. What an amazing compliment. I thank you. We loved Michael Bentin. Are you a millionaire? Yes, I have one million pennies. I've been saying dinky do in work. Do it, donkey. Absolutely. Opinion on climate change and what needs to be done. Scotty, the legend, says Corey. Uh, so there we go. Oh, my goodness me. Yes, I see what you mean. Come on. I'll not be going for that one. Smashing idea, Jerry. Uh, Scotty, have you never thought about a podcast? Now, what would be different to what we are doing here? This is a living, interactive podcast. I think this is the best thing ever, guys. Don't underestimate the power of Scotty McClure's internet phone in. Remember, it's very early days. Get building. Opinions on vegans. I feel that they're adding to the climate change because they produce more methane than non-vegans. So there we are. Uh, that's a smashing idea, Jerry. Yes, a podcast. And then you can get it whenever you want. Isn't that fantastic? Uh, right to the telephones, guys. We've got a line free now, of course. And if you'd like to call in and give us your chat, that would be outstanding. So there we go. Tremendous stuff. What have we got? Nick, that is lovely to have you on the TikTok. TikTok, as you have been spectacular. I did a TikTok pop up this morning, the red eye, at about, uh, I don't know what it was, 20 minutes to seven. Opinions on firearms. I don't like them. I mean, I am a crack shot. I don't possess a gun or a rifle. I don't shoot nowadays. Uh, so, and I don't really see the need for, um, you know, private people having firearms. Are you a religious man? Well, everybody's religious diaphrase. Yes, indeed. Very important. We have to believe in a power superior to mankind. Otherwise, what would that look like, for goodness sake? To the telephones as soon as we can. We've time for one more call, and then we're going to have to dash. Dinky do. Joey, what nonsense are you talking about? I say to you, I've never heard so much nonsense in all my life. There we are. I wonder why somebody had to leave five minutes early. Now, guys, there will be football on. There will be movies, films, dramas, all sorts of distractions. But between 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock, Monday to Thursday, the Scotty McClure Internet phone in. The Internet phone in. And you have the number there, 0141 Fantastic stuff. So always make sure you give us a call. I say to you, we'll see what's happening here. Wonderful stuff. Uh, favorite football team, Scotty, says Finlay. I have so many, Finlay. So many favorite football teams. I love my Liverpool. I love my Everton. My Celtic, my Rangers, my Newcastle, my Carlisle United, my Aston Villa, my Birmingham City, my Manchester United, my Manchester City, my Sheffield United, my Sheffield Wednesday. These are all fabulous teams, I have to say. We like the Morton, Mon the Ton. Then we have the Saints, yes, and the Saints go marching in. Fantastic. The Partick Thistle. Ah, oh, the place is awash with fabulous football teams. No doubt about it. What would you say is the best football team in the country? What about the uh, the Spurs? The Arsenal, AFC, they're one of my favourites as well. Chelsea. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, a bit of stuff there. There we go. 
You're live in Scotty's phone end. Who's that? Yeah, Scott, you're having a story again. There we go. Fantastic. Giving it good stuff. That's what we're on. Sorry, you seem to have got cut off there. Don't know what was going on. Very strange. The line just died. Have you been in the last pub in England? The last pub, Angela. Why? Are they all shutting? I ask you. No, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, where is that? Is that in Carlisle? There we are. I would have thought that would be in Carlisle, the last pub in England. Yes, indeed. Or is there one in Newcastle? I don't know. Tell us more, Angela. Are you a rugby fan? Rugby fan. Used to play Finlay. Tight head prop. Down fast. Boom! Tremendous stuff. That's what it was all about, I see. To the telephones, guys. We're just about out of fact. We are out of time. Thank you for watching. Good night, God bless, thank you, and ta-ra-las.